Kay Klinkenborg. I'm a member of the Church of the Palms. Uh, I have a technique to uh, teach you today called Intense Feelings, How to Diffuse Them. I am a retired licensed marriage family therapist and life coach, and I've used this technique with many clients. I've used it to teach to managers, to uh, employees that were having trouble with um, anger management or uh, being able to stay in control of intense emotions. It's highly effective because it's repetitive. That's the key. One of the things we've been taught is count to 10 and walk away. Well, count to 10 doesn't do it, is what we found out if the emotions are intense. We need to literally physically do something and we need to concentrate on something that changes the pattern of the emotion and sends a different message to the brain. So if you have experiences of feeling highly anxious, uh, very irritable, intense anger, antsy, can't settle down, or you may feel, have an experience that I feel like my grief is just trapped inside me. Whatever the intense emotion that is just seems to be occupying you, this breathing technique can diffuse that. I'm not telling you it will go away. Might but it will diffuse it where you then can choose a behavior of your choice to continue with that puts you in charge of the emotion. And the one thing I want you to know is all emotions are normal. It doesn't matter what the emotion, it's about your choice of how to respond to it that you need to keep in mind. Don't beat yourself up for having the emotion, but choose how to respond. So the method I'm going to teach you is um, a three process. You inhale, you hold, and you exhale. Now, for those who are in good physical condition, who can hike, who swim, laps, who ride bikes, who run, they can do what we call the 10-5-10 count. 10 slow breaths in, hold for five, 10 slow breaths out. They can manage that with ease. Myself, I'm a little limited. So I do the middle range, which is called seven counts inhale, four counts hold, seven counts exhale. If you find yourself with a chronic breathing disease, or maybe it's age, or there's other chronic health issues, the count of five, hold three, and five will be just as effective. Because the beauty of this is, it's doing it in its sequence, repeating it three times, that alters and diffuses the emotions. So the first thing I want to teach you is how to take a deep cleansing breath. And I don't mean by that that you go and raise your shoulders. A deep breath is a singing breath or a diaphragmatic breath. And when you take a breath in, your stomach should come out like this. And that should be the feeling you can if you put your hands right there to notice it's changing. So let's practice one deep cleansing breath. Ready? Inhale. There, shoulders don't move. So I'm going to choose to show you the 7-4-7 seven, seven count. That's the one I can do most comfortably. You pick 10-5-10 ten, ten, or 5-3-5. Five, and I will pause just briefly in between for those that are able to do the 10 so that they can finish theirs and catch up with us repeating this three times. So, when I say go, we are going to inhale to the count of seven. We're going to hold for four, and then we're going to exhale for seven, and then pause. And I will count with my fingers so you don't have to count in your head, okay? So, a deep cleansing breath. And when I say go, you will start the seven count to inhale. Ready? Go. Two. Hold. Blow. Relax. You've done one round. Let's do the second round the same way. When I say go, you will inhale, hold for four, 
and exhale. Ready? Go. Hold. Blow. Pause, relax. Now, the third time completes your cycle. When I say go, begin your inhale. Go. Hold. Blow. Relax. You have done three repetitive transforming breaths. Just relax. The one thing I want you to know at this point is I want you to practice this. If you do not practice this, about maybe one time a day for four or five days, if you find yourself with an intense emotion, you're not going to bring this to mind very quickly about how to do it if you have not practiced it. So I would like you to commit to yourself to practice this at least once a day for four to five days in a row so that when intense emotions arise, you can pause, do your pattern of inhale, hold, exhale to whatever count you choose, and then you can relax after three repetitions. Do not be surprised if you find you feel a little giddy, or there's tears in your eyes, or whatever spontaneously happens after, because you have altered the physiology of your breathing and the oxygen in the cells of your body. So it is working, it is doing it. The second thing we suggest you do when you've finished is to physically change your location. Go to another room, sit in a different chair, and then relax. And this is how you can defuse intense emotions with a pattern of three repetitive breath intake, hold, and exhales. Thank you for your time.